Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. We're just outside the Monotoli building, and we have a yogurt dispenser for the maid. Well, that was rude. That's kind of you, to make trout-flavored yogurt, even though I don't really care for it. But more importantly, we get access to the 48th floor of the Monotoli building. That's very important because, without giving her the yogurt dispenser, the highest we can get at the Monotoli building is only the 47th floor. Until you get the yogurt dispenser to the maid, this elevator will be closed. Let's go up. There's a, pl a platoon of robots guarding Mr. Monotoli's office, so you'll want to be careful here. You can actually bypass this robot if you um, have a skip sandwich, but I don't. So I'm going to have to fight. And here's a new enemy, the Sentry Robot. They have 372 HP, and they can fire bottle rockets at you, which is not pleasant. You'll want to defeat them as quickly as possible. Don't be afraid to expend your PP, because these robots are nasty. And that's why they can call for help as well. I would say try to avoid fighting these robots when possible. However, if you run low on HP, you can run out of here and come back in, and the robots that you've already defeated will not come back. Oh, and I gotta fight this guy. Damn it. Be right back, people. Fighting two sentry robots is not fun. I want to try to sneak around the desks here to avoid having to fight this sentry robot. Because I know I can get around. Yep. Up. Oh, get in. I know you can bypass this. There we go. Through that door is a sudden guts pill, but there's a sentry robot guarding it, so we don't want to go that way. <sighs> and here's Lectra's room. And we get the trout yogurt. It's useless. It only restores 30 hit points. We're coming, Leela! That's a clumsily running robot. And here's the boss of the Monotoli building, Clumsy Robot. It only has two actions worth noting. It can... It can solidify you with a beam, and it can fire a missile. This missile does massive damage. It's like a super bomb. It can kill your entire party. Oh, that was stupid. I forgot to get rid of the psychic shield. You're supposed to use a neutralizer round one. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Hurry. Thank you. Clumsy Robot does nothing seven nights of the time, immobilizes you one time, and then one time fires that missile at you. It's really dangerous. This guy also has high speed, so he'll be going first, and it makes him have high evasion. So he'll dodge bottle rockets quite often. I just throw all the firepower you got at this guy. Oh, I'm out of resources except for this one super bomb. I hope that's enough. Ugh. 
Um, huh, critical hit, one damage. That's fantastic. <laughs> Once you deal 962 points of damage to him, uh, the Runaway 5 will come and disable the robot. One of the actions that this guy has is to eat a bologna sandwich, which will say that it restores all of his HP, but it's a red herring intended to irritate you. It actually does nothing. And we got Flash Beta. Awesome. Hmm. A girl's voice. Huh. Well, you go to the bathroom while I break into the room. Aha! Leela! There you are! And apparently, Monotoli's ready to give up after losing the Mani Mani statue, so that was the source of his power. Of course Leela's a nice girl. Thank you. And Leela finally rejoins our party. She has been missed. And now I can finally start kicking some ass and taking some names. So that's why people were talking about you and Jackie's Cafe. Hmm. Stop Josh. Know nothing of the pyramid. Keep Josh out of Summers. Gygus. Well then, let's go to Summers. And he'll let us take his helicopter all the way to Summers. That's really nice of him. Bye, Monotoli. The question is, who's going to take his helicopter home? Is that thing remote controlled or something? Why is it taking off without us? What's going on? Watch where you're flying that thing! Pokey, I knew it! How are we going to get to Summers now? Any ideas, Monotoli? Lila, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, just dizzy. And somehow, we need to go back to Threed to get to Summers. Cool! Thanks, guys. By the way, this is the last time you'll hear the Runaway 5 music in the entire game, so enjoy it while you can. But we have a couple items we need to get first. This gift box contains a much-needed vitality capsule for Leela, since she's fallen quite behind on levels. Well, there was one more uh, treasure chest somewhere around here, and it's not that way. Aha, it's this way. And we get a Sudden Guts pill. Useless. I never really cared for it. I never really cared for too many of the buffing battle items. What is it? 
Apple Kid. Oh, well, that's awesome. And we need to invent the phase distorter. All right, good luck with that. Sure, I'll sign something. <laughs> of course. Going down... All right. Let's get on the bus. Head back to Threed. Huh. <laughs> How'd that guy not get run over? We passed right over him. What the hell? Enjoy this music while you can, because this is the last time you'll hear it. <laughs> wow, you got that thing to the floor? Man, apparently. All right, and we're back in three. Maybe. If Lila will tell us why we have to go back to Threed. Bye bye, Runaway 5. Unfortunately, we won't see them in the game for a very, very long time. Well, why did we come back to Threed? Find out next time on Let's Play Earthbound.